All right, I'm going to try to make this quick, but I want to talk about the men on the moon. Now, it's been over 50 years since they last claimed to set foot on the moon. 1972. In December of 1972 was the last time men claimed to have set foot on the moon. That's over 50 years. Now, what happens after 60 years? Or after 70 years? 80 years? 100 years? Will you then start to question, did we ever go to begin with? It's a fair question, right? And it's interesting uh, for me if you take a look at this thing called SpaceX. All right, it's supposed to be some big deal. Well, way too loud. Okay, there's nothing to hear anyway. So, just scrolling through this, you see blast off. Yippee! These next generation satellites provide increased signal accuracy. Yippee, okay, all right, yay, all right, so what do they do? Wow, you know, pretty amazing stuff right there. So cool. And in fact, they're not doing nothing at all. Yeah, they're not, I mean, if they were to get, you know, they had these things, they said, these manned maneuvering units where they could get out they had a jet propulsion system they could you know get out of the out of the spaceship and you know fly around uh, why don't they do that I mean that seems like it's a no-brainer I mean you could sell that idea to every millionaire on the planet and make a whole lot of money you know wouldn't be nothing you know fly a spaceship up in the air and say tell them to jump out and they jump out and you you know we for a few minutes and then get all right get back in and then collect a bunch of money right I mean it's a no-brainer but no I don't know what they're doing really um, to me it looks like a big a big go uh, you know, like a bottle rocket. You know, when, when I was a kid, we'd stick a bottle rocket into a glass, you know, like a glass Pepsi. And then we'd light the, the wick or whatever you call that. And then it would go... Just like this. Just like this, what we're seeing here. Same thing. Except that one's bigger than the one we have. And that's all it was. Just yippee. Really? Alright, so I want to show you something here. Now, I saved this video because I knew it was never going to pan out. And I knew that this is all BS. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Now, listen. This is from... I recorded this in 2013. I'm not sure when the actual video is from. Before 2013. Beginning no later than 2008, we will send a series of robotic missions to the lunar surface to research and prepare for future human exploration. In 2013, or I'm sorry, he said 28. He said 2008. Excuse me. No later, no later than 2008, they're going to send robots and they're going to touch the moon and they're going to get prepared for human exploration. That's never going to happen. That's never happened. Um, so here's a business insider. I'm going to share some verses here in a second, but here's business insider. Uh, article, you know, the reason why we're not going is because of those darn politicians. Alright, so uh, scrolling through this 
article I see they well it's, it's we can get there you know it's not science we know how to get there it's just those darn politicians right and then uh, then you read on a little bit further and then all of a sudden it's well NASA just doesn't have enough money but that's because of the politicians won't give them more money they only get 26 billion dollars a year that's just not enough money to get to the moon 26 billion dollars a year that's barely enough to make tang you know what I mean barely enough to you know go to the grocery store you can't live on that kind of 26 billion dollars I mean, come on all right, so this is interesting. Yeah, I want to share this um, poll. And the poll is, <clears throat> excuse me, NASA last landed on the moon's surface in 1972. Should NASA return to the moon? Question mark. And the top answer is no. I don't think that's a priority at this time. And 42.9% of the respondents, just eh, the single greatest achievement in the history of mankind. Nah, let's not do that. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Nah, that's not a priority. Let's not do that. And meanwhile, 37.9% said yes, and I think the ultimate goal should be to send humans. And the ultimate goal should be to send humans. Okay. I thought that was the question. Okay. And then 19.2, yes, but I think a return should focus only on sending robots. Yeah, that's just brilliant. Just brilliant. So he split up the the yes answers, and then you get majority of no. Absolutely brilliant. And so people, by and large, don't want to send men to the moon. This nah, the single greatest achievement in the history of mankind and people don't want to do it no more that's amazing and of course if uh, somewhere in this article talks about uh, you know they could um, you know make it a tourist thing you know you, you know people go to the moon it could be uh, its own uh, what do they call that its own money-making industry you know, just by here, where was that at? I probably can't find it now. Just talking about sending men or sending uh, people there uh, as a tourist thing. So, anyways, doesn't matter who cares, there it's never gonna happen. And they were talking about that in the 60s and 70s that they were gonna send people there on a tour a tour of the moon they even sold tickets and of course that never never panned out it's never gonna happen it didn't happen in the 70s like they talked about it's not gonna happen in your lifetime it's not gonna happen in your grandchildren's lifetime it's never going to happen because it's never happened. Oh, here's an interesting quote here, which will include, so by 2025 at the earliest, they're gonna send the first women to the moon. Ah, oh, finally. I was wondering when women were gonna get upset about this, they send 12 white guys and no women. Uh, to me, there's something wrong with that. 
You know, why does NASA hate women? Really, why do they hate black people? They didn't send one black person to the moon? Only 12 white guys. That's incredible. And then they said, ah, there's nothing to see here. Nothing at all. So we're just going to stop doing it. Just think about this, man. If you're in your 20s, it's very possible that your mom and dad have never seen anybody go to the moon. You would have to be at least 50 years old. And maybe if you're 52, for example, then you were a little child, like a two-year-old, the last time men went to the moon. Uh, so just think about that. So all the people that were involved in this going to the moon, they're all dead or they're all extremely old. If they were 20 years old in 1972, that means they were born in 52. That means today they would be 72 or 71, whatever. I don't know. What's the math on that? 71 years old. They're in their 70s. At the minimum. I mean, if they were 30 years old in 1972, they would be 80 years old. If they were in their 40s, they're 90 plus. In other words, all these people that conspired, or all these people that put together this thing, they're all very old or very dead. And so they don't have to deal with any repercussions if it did come out that they actually did not go to the moon they don't have to deal with it the current generation of people have to deal with it and how are they dealing with it well it looks to me their way of dealing with it is delaying it you know smoke and mirrors just keep people interested enough but n admit nothing right just as whatever it takes to keep that money rolling in right they need tax dollars they need that money and to hell with the truth right and but it just to me it just it's not setting right with me because what happens in another 30 years it's been 80 years since we've been to the moon folks imagine that you know it's like uh, to me imagine a husband and a wife and let's say the husband lies to the wife now he can only carry that lie for so long and uh, there comes a point to where he's got to fess up or, or something something's very wrong yeah I don't want to give an example but hopefully you understand what I'm saying there comes a point where you gotta go one way or the other you gotta fess up or you gotta kill your spouse that's what happens people that start a lie they only get two choices at the end of the lie and that is to confess their fault or to murder their spouse or their friend or whatever what have you you understand what I'm saying this lie that they're carrying they can't carry it forever there's going to be a breaking point. They either got to fess up or they have to go the other direction. Now, personally, I would like to see them, you know, do this uh, Mars thing, right? I mean, I'd, I'd like to see them, hey, hey, look, everybody, we're on Mars. I'd like to see that just for entertainment, right? Because I know 
they didn't go to the moon and I know they ain't going to Mars so I mean if you're gonna lie anyways you might as well make a big show out of it you know just expose yourself even more and all they're doing right now is nothing and it doesn't matter they don't have to do nothing as long as that money keeps rolling in they don't have to do anything so let me share some verses with you I guess uh, we'll start with uh, Lucifer all right it's interesting Lucifer is like the most popular one of the most popular names from the Bible in the world yet it's only mentioned the one time and that's in Isaiah 14 now the context of this is a proverb against the king of Babylon all right so if I could find that word proverb uh oh it used to be there oh there it is that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon all right, so that's a, this is a proverb. This is not actual reality, okay? There is nobody named Lucifer, and I'm telling you people would make way too big of a deal out of the name Lucifer. And they apply this name to other things in the Bible, and they, I don't think they should be doing that. There's no reason to do that. All right, no reason at all. So let's read this. So, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will send uh, into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. And isn't that interesting? Isn't that exactly what these guys are doing? Well, we got so many animations, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show you a good image here where they're above the clouds. You can kind of see it right there. I don't know what this is, a pumpkin or something, I'm not sure. doesn't matter, who cares? Anyway, so you get the idea back here I will ascend above the heights of the clouds I will be like the most high verse 15 yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit all right so it's interesting first of all it says here for thou hast said in thine heart they don't actually ascend to heaven why is that important well we have to go to John chapter 3 and read in verse 13 and no man has ascended up to heaven Jesus says if I have told you earthly things and you believe not how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things and no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And I know people want to say, well, this ain't the same thing. These guys are ascending to heaven. But this is what Jesus did. Jesus ascended to heaven and ascended into glory. Now, he got further than what these guys did so I mean if you consider the air by itself to be heaven then you could jump up in the air and ascend to heaven that's not the same thing so if we understand the word heaven so in the beginning God created the heaven and then God made a firmament and called the firmament heaven and now, oops, sorry about that. And God called the firmament. Oh, geez, what is, 
God called a firmament heaven. And then we go to Genesis 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Okay. So this ascending to heaven has to be uh, going beyond what these guys are able to go. All right. And so nobody has ascended to the moon. Nobody has ascended to, you know, uh, I forget what they call those uh, robot missions that they pretend to have where they're flying around taking pictures of planets and stuff like that. But they're not doing any of that. Not doing any of that at all. They're going up in the sky uh, a few miles and, and then, of course, returning. And, of course, you know, this whole thing here, this whole show here took a hour and a half like a it's like watching a movie right nobody has ascended to heaven except for Jesus okay now I remember as a new believer when um, people yeah I remember somebody took me to a church on a Thursday night and they were talking gibberish, you know, they said they were talking in tongues and they were taking oil and splashing it on people. And I stunk for a week after that. Well, nevertheless, so one of the things this gentleman said, and he said his mother passed away, and you can certainly sympathize with that, but the problem was, he said that she was up in heaven looking down on him. That's not true. I mean, you, his mother may very well go to heaven uh, when Jesus returns along with the rest of us. But nobody has ascended to heaven right now. Nobody. That only happens when Jesus returns. In Acts 2, we see David is not ascended into the heavens. Right? And so nobody has been resurrected except for Jesus. Jesus is the first, right? He is the first fruits of them that slept. So he's promised to come back. And when he comes in the clouds of heaven, we will be lifted up to meet the Lord in the air then we'll be ascended we're not ascended now nobody is it's tough to deal with um, you know our loved ones when they pass away you know that's tough I get it but it's not fair to say well they're in heaven now because one of the things that happens and you've probably dealt with this before, is that people will say, well, what about my grandfather? He never believed in Jesus. Is he in heaven? Well, what do you do? You tell somebody no? And, you know, they're already sore and sorry and hurting, full of sorrow, you know? You tell them no. They didn't believe in Jesus, they're in hell. Well, first of all, that's a big problem for me because you can't say, and you can't know who's going to be saved and who's not saved. You cannot know it. You can know it only for yourself if you are. You can't know it for somebody else. Only God knows. And then second of all, it's important to explain to him that nobody has resurrected. Nobody's in heaven yet. That only happens when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. Therefore, nobody is burning in hell yet. All right, of course, uh, all those that are not saved are going to be thrown in the lake of fire forever so um, 
it's very important to be saved right now and once you are saved you're see, uh, sealed secure sanctified forever all right so I think that's all I wanted to share I just wanted to throw this idea talk about it a little bit this idea of men going to the moon it's been over 50 years and nobody's been to the moon most people living today were not alive the last time men went to the moon uh, think about that what happens in another 10 years and another 20 years and we still haven't been to the moon in this article it talks about people are made maybe 2025 the earliest well, I'm telling you, George Bush was talking about that over 20 years ago, or about 20 years ago. Hey, we we got plans, man. We're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna send people back to the moon. They've been doing that for the last 50 years. Hey, just in a few years, and it comes 2025, you're gonna forget all about this article. Probably be erased from the internet forever. And there will be a new article saying, oh, in 2028, in 2028, we're going to go to the, we're going to send some people up there. We're going to send some women. We're going to send some black women. We're going to send some black lesbian women, you know, equality, right? Or some, how about sending some Chinese lesbian, transgender women, you know? They got the PPs and they got the wee wees. Right? The equality. We're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. And, well, I don't know if you want to do that because you get people excited over that. And then you say, hey, we're going to send some PPs and wee wees up there. People get so excited. You better do it. So maybe they won't, you know, maybe they'll shy away from that. Right? I don't know. This whole thing is a clown show, if you ask me. This whole thing is a clown show. They ain't never went to begin with. I guarantee it. 